Are you ready? Yep. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. You know, a lot of you have home offices, maybe, or at home, you might have a personal shredder. Now, a lot of the times you have it because, oh yeah, it might be for a personal document. Isn't that what you do because if people go through your trash? Or maybe you just need security anyway. This shredder right here is by a company called Go Eco Life. And we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate this to you because this is not just like any shredder. And the reason why I think it's really particularly interesting is, first of all, it's a commercial shredder. And there is a spot for you where you can shred up DVDs as well as credit cards. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about most of you, but usually I try and, you know, cut it in half. Or maybe you throw it away in the trash can and you hope that nobody goes through your trash and looks through the DVDs. And then they can put it back together, which is the funny part. Mm -hmm. they, they put it back together and then they can do a paper uh, mm -hmm. over the top of it and you've got the credit card. Yeah, so a lot of times when you're looking at shredders, there's one where they just shred, you know, straight down, where it's easy to put back together. There's the other one that, oh, they do cross cut. What does cross cut mean? Yeah, the shreds this way, so it's harder to put back together. Yeah. Although it does make great confetti, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> so, which actually they do that in the offices to make confetti, I know. That. Right, I know, it makes great confetti. Oh, but you know, I, I suppose we should go ahead and take a look at this. Now, this one right here. I know you're going, why are you showing us this router? <laughs> Ooh, listen to them. They're paving the road outside this building right now. So. Well, you know, part of it is we do cover consumer electronics, and I am particularly interested in showing things with you that are unusual or can make your life easier. Yeah, and the company was kind enough to actually give us this and not have to return it, so. so I know. Doing it. So, of course, we want to showcase it. We did meet the people here at a gifting suite with the Secret Room events, and so we're going to go ahead and showcase this. This one is built for heavy use. It's commercial grade and has a 12-sheet capacity. Two years limited product warranty and seven years limited cutter warranty. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah. It also says it's ultra quiet, so we're going to find out just how quiet it is. Yes, it's going to be. Uh -huh. yeah, well, we can tell. <laughs> if you can hear it above the guys outside tearing the street up. So. Oh, it's not that bad out there. And it does say it's. I have 30 minute continuous runtime. Ooh, that means if the IRS comes to get you, you can be feeding that thing for a half hour straight. Well, and part of it is, here's the, the part we thought was a little bit odd, is the actually on-off switch is in the back. Yep. Which, as a commercial grade, they pro maybe they presume that you're going to keep it on all the time. But there is also a energy saving technology that's here in the front. And Go Eco Life, the company itself is very, very green. So they're trying to help you become green. I'm trying to remember. They probably, this probably thing is all recycled. Would be that I would guess, guess yeah. yeah. You can recycle plastic, folks. People don't you seem to get that through. You can recycle plastic pretty easily. Now, one of the first things they have right here are lubricant sheets that were included. <laughs> yeah, and so, something we didn't know because there was another shredder in this building, and it's probably never had a lubricant job well, done on it. You know, here's part of it is I've never seen a lubricant sheet for a shredder. It makes sense, though. It does. <laughs> I mean, I've had things, okay, for printers and... Uh, for scissors, but never. Remember, I mean, if you know anything about chainsaws or other cutting things, you need to lubricate the blades, and this has got blades. It makes sense. So this one says it helps prevent paper jams, reduce noise and paper dust, and applies just the right amount of lubricant every time. So, and this, see how clean this is? I can put my hand all over it, so it's not going to get my hands all yucky. So we are going to... Actually, you know what? It's like I can't even stick my finger in there. I know, which is good because she would. Well, you know, part of it, not that I would, but people have kids, right? Yeah. And little kids are like, oh, look. I right. know, they're little kids and, and pets. Mm -hmm. So actually, this is up higher than it would normally because we couldn't actually get the camera down low enough. Well, that's part of it. So, But, you know, you can see it a little bit easier. I feel, I feel like... Um, yeah, to do the model stuff. She so, was once that, folks. Okay, but part of it is right here. We have saved up a few things from here. So you can just see how quiet it is and what it really does. Now, of course, one of the most popular things that go into shredders are credit card offers. Uh, yeah, off credit card offers. And maybe I should make sure that I don't need any of these things. Um, yeah. Because one of the reasons we are doing this is it just so happens. Um, Hear this one, folks. Just tried a third time. The third time. No, well, actually... My credit card, or a credit card, has been closed three times over the last six, seven months, right? One card at a time. 
This time, my entire wallet was found by somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't me. The, the trick is it's been missing for a month. Yeah, so I thought it was with some of my stuff, and I found out the other day when one of my credit card companies called me regarding one of my cards <laughs> and some unusual activity. Yeah, which means don't go, don't use valet parking if you can avoid it. Is what that I know. Means. It's, I, I don't hate to, and you know, and part of it is, is I. Well, let's just say. Women and men, you know, like when you end up going to events, maybe your purse is not as big and you got to carry a smaller purse, right? Well, yeah, but the guys do the same thing. Guys, if you're wearing a tuxedo, you don't put things in your pocket. So what do you do? You put them under the seat of your car or something, mm -hmm. or in a tray in a car. And sometimes you have to valet park your car and you don't have any choice. So, and then I got one of these little wallets, right, that is supposed to help you for identity theft from people cloning your cards because people can actually clone your cards of life. And I've seen this on TV. It's not just on TV where they can walk by you. They did, did a thing on um, one of the business channels last night about the fact that people got, what do you mean they can walk up to my... I'll walk up to my pocket and get all the information off of the SIM chip. Yeah, very easily. You can get it all off of your... They can also do it off your cell phone. Did you know that? Yeah. The credit cards, your cell phones, everything. Computers. And I don't know how to do that, but I've seen it done enough. It's a simple device. You can order them on... You can order the bloody things online. Yeah, so see, part of it is this is for security. Yeah. And also, if it's on your computer, like we said, they can get into your computer. Remember... If you've ever done remote access to your computer for documents. And they just did it, I understand that they uh, somebody just did it with an online gaming console. Oh, you mean Sony's. Well, we can't say who they were. Oh, we won't say who they, they were. They just, just somebody computers. walked up to it with one of the devices and took all the information <gasps> hooked to the computer it was hooked to. Which is what I have been telling people that you can go through your your devices into your computers if they're all hooked together. Mm -hmm. So when you've got these things, you don't think about it. It happens now. Yeah, so sometimes you just really just need to un dump it off on a hard drive, unplug. That's right. Okay, so that's one of the reasons we're going through this. So I have some things in here that I might normally not have. Like here, these are credit cards to activate your card. Because, let's see, they sent these to me yeah. to replace them with the other cards before... <laughs> I know before she lost the card. Before the loss. So these actually do me no good. But well, she doesn't need two cards to begin with. Oh, actually, that's what, Okay, now here's one of... Is one of my credit card companies, they sent me two cards of the same one, and I asked them why they did that. And they said, well, because then you can keep it in two places. Well, guess what happens? Uh -huh. I kept the one card with me because I used it all the time. The spare one I kept in my wallet. Yeah. So since my wallet got stolen... Yeah, it means they... And she's got to go to all the trouble of undoing every single credit card. Oh, and actually, that's not the worst part of it. The other part is changing all the banking accounts. Yeah, every they banking, banking account. information in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, and we're not even certain that anybody's got more than the one card, but we keep that. I know, because if it could fall, could have fallen. Now, here's one of the interesting things in each company. And you're going, why are you talking about that with the shredder? Well, because a lot of it has to do with identity theft, yep. which is why you have something like a shredder in your house. Well, you, people throw this stupid stuff in the trash cans, and they go <laughs> dumpster diving. Well, you know what I used to do is I'd take the credit card, i cut up with scissors, right? Take half of it and put it in the trash can, take another half and put it somewhere else. Yeah, but they'll well, send you one of the forms that comes with it that gives all the information on a credit card is on the piece of paper. Which is why you have to shred those credit card applications. Yep. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I know you're going, what? It's like, really? All of that stuff? Yeah, it all really does happen. Yeah, it, it was happened to her. Yeah, it never happened to me, but yeah. Because you know why? Well, I don't carry credit cards. Uh, that makes sense. And part of it has had all the banking information, and right? I, and my post office box key. Yeah, so. And since my post office box was on my checks. Yeah, then you have to go undo everything. So, which I've already changed that key, yeah. and so you know, it's it's all going through the process. So anyway, we're gonna see what will it, will it see do. Just how good this works. Will it okay, do? Okay, let's heavy. see how many pieces of paper I have on here. Yeah, actually, the envelopes are real simple to push through because then you know there's no problem with that blank envelope. Then. Well, see, part of it is if you do a blank envelope like this, right? Yeah. Okay. But usually, it says 20 sheets. I just have all this paper right here in the so you're envelope. You're going to see if it will do it all at once. Yeah, of course. 
But the option is actually to see if these things work before you really get carried away with them. Well, I gotta put the envelope, it's too wide on this side for this. Yeah. That's not too annoying. Yeah. You, can, you can still hear it. Yeah. Oh, I guess yeah, I'll I'll look, I'll look to go this way. Ooh, that's fast. Look at that. Now here's the fun part. That goes in its own little slots. Yes! Actually, that's quieter than the paper. I know. Can you believe that? Okay, credit card. And and why would you... They said, DVDs. why would you do DVDs? Because sometimes we don't throw DVDs in the trash because of the look stuff that's on it. Oh, hey, you see it right there. Oh, wow, this is so. You're seeing us clean up our things that we don't want people to know what's on well, them. Well, actually, after this, we're going to take this out so you can actually see what it looks like. But do you see how easily it shreds? Oh, my God. Yeah. I knew it. When they said it, I, I'm like, I want one of those. And then I was crossing my fingers. So, you know, you, ha you have to wait and see. Wow. Yeah. We're going to see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to wait and see what this looks like in here. Open this up. Take out the, the thing. Is it what it says? Okay. So this is what the trash looks like. <laughs> this reds. Yeah, oh, that's good. Okay. So people are going to have a hard time pasting your stuff back together like that. Yeah. Oh, that's good confetti. You know, you can also use that for um, like shipping. You yeah. ship stuff, you just, it helps to insulate it. Okay. Now here's the thing on the DVDs. Yeah, well, the DVDs are totally useless when that happens to them. So yeah, those are totally useless. Well, because yeah. they're it, you ruin you know, because I you got to bust them up and get rid of them. So but that's okay, but we, so you the can't DVDs put DVDs are totally useless. Like this because one. it destroys the the um, the the thing on them. But you're now gonna, what I'm interested in are the credit cards because see part of it is I just tossed it in here. Okay, so I want to see what these, these credit cards look like because because you can put them back through again. That's though. what I'm thinking. You, you just take that. the credit cards out and run them through again. Because the DVDs came out in slices like that. Well, I think what you do is you push the credit card straight down instead of sideways. Oh, well, yeah, because like this one, see the whole credit card numbers on yep, there? Which means you they went like, so I probably need to go that so way. So take them back out and do it again, but it didn't okay. just slice them up the first time. So we're going to take some of these bigger pieces yeah, out. Yeah, maybe we should get a, something for you to set that stuff in. So. Yeah, we'll just put, we'll put it right here. Well, if I do these, you will are we, are we dumping this out? I was going to put it in a thing so you could dump them all back to your sideways. Oh, actually, I'll be fine. I'll just put them in my hand. Uh, because this credit cards going to have to be done more than one time. Yeah, so that's one of the things that we're learning. Well, because she put them in straight instead of sideways, too, so. Well, yeah, if I put it in sideways, it's probably good. Oh, okay. Where'd the others all go? What? It's in there. I know, but you gotta get rid of all of them. gotta put them all through again. Uh, not the DVDs. No, where'd your credit cards all go? No, can't too. Oh, okay. Then, okay. So, we're, this, see, this is, you can tell us live, folks. Totally live because we're learning. You're learning the same as we are. You've got to do it more than one time, which is why you have that little catch-all thing up there. Well, you know, and part of it is basically, you know, a lot of times when we go over products, we will review them over time, right? Like a month or two weeks or three weeks until we feel like we really get to know this. This one, we kind of did differently. Because it's we wanted, live. We wanted to show you exactly what was happening as you're learning it. This is live. We just opened it. They were laughing because... It's like I had the lubricant sheet still in the package. It was right? inside the container. We didn't open the container itself up. <laughs> it was in the it was in the, the holding container. So we took yeah. it out of the box, took all the other stuff off, but in a holding container though, where there was all kinds of stuff. You, you can tell which way I did the credit cards because one of them went this way and the other one went the other way. Yeah. So I'm gonna just stick it in this way. Yeah. Better at shredding. Yeah. 
It's getting probably I'd get some of the some of the DVD stuff out so you can push it through with. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's probably a good idea. Because the credit cards need to be gone through several times. Yeah, because part of it is these these credit cards, right? Because they're smaller. Yeah. Um, you get the hang of it because we probably, put it, probably should have put them through sideways, not straight to begin with. So. Okay, so we're learning. This is. Well, this no, is because if you don't know. Okay, so see that was smaller. So then we'll just put the the DVD thing. Just use this straight in. Oh, we'll just do straight in like. Yeah. I guess that's has to be wide enough. We're discovering things. <laughs> she jammed it. She jammed it already. <laughs> oh, there we go. She found it. Well, you have to get it where the blade is. Yeah, that's where you got to find the blade. Okay, you got to go with that blade is over there, I think. Yeah, because otherwise you, you, you put it through. I don't know exactly how far the blades... Oh, you know how far the blades are? That far apart. Yeah. That's how far apart they are. So until you hit... <laughs> see, see, part of it is you're learning. You're learning right now on, on camera how these things work. So... <laughs> <laughs> No, it did work. It does work because we've been playing with it. Okay, so I need a bigger DVD. Hold on. I go over. It's supposed to. I, I actually see. <laughs> it shreds a little, just like the rest of the confetti. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Oh, good. So it no, did no, work. We just put it in the wrong side. See, you learn from now, us. Yes. So. I know, because you're probably looking at it and going, "Well, that doesn't make so much sense." Because they can put it back together. No, nah, not out of it. Because there was a little spot behind the paper thing for credit cards. I wonder why they did the other one. Like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez, I am. Um, look at this. Okay, this is rewind, reverse, forward. Stop. That says there you get something in it, so we've already cleaned it. So there you go. We, it See? does work. Oh, <laughs> this works so well. See, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> go Eco Life. Now, actually, this is available. I think that this model is currently available in different stores. If you go to their website, goecolife.com. You'll be able to find out exactly where you can buy it. They do have several different models available. I like this one because it's more yeah. commercial grade. Yeah, and it's got and wheels And you can put a lot of things. They did have some that also work with DVDs as well as credit cards, I think, that were small. They did have some that were sleek profile. They had a, an all-white one that looked like it was like at a 
like an industrial warehouse type. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was beautiful and sleek and it didn't look like a shredder. Yeah. This one looks like a shredder, but boy. Now, we, it does work. We just showed you. And, you know. <laughs> yeah. And they also have on the top of here, it's the overfeed prevention technology. Um, problem with your shredder. They have the phone number directly on here with your sticker and protect your shredder. It reminds you everything right up on top. This is this is really kind of cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is not going anywhere. Go eco life. <laughs>